and of course a fly. Morning folks! So we're here in Alice Springs still and it's starting to rain a little bit. Actually it's not starting to rain, it is raining. So we came to this place called the Reptile Center because out there in the wild we'll probably have not quite as good luck finding stuff as, as we're going to find here in this place that has a bunch of animals right here where we can see them <laughs> without having to get too many flies in our face. Still a couple of flies but not too many flies especially since it's raining. And uh, they do have here the one animal that I was really really hoping to see here in Australia which is the thorny devil. And we're going to check that out, but first let's take a look at some of the snakes that they have inside because they got some cool snakes inside that we're also hoping to see here in the wild. Hold that thought, there's been a change of plans. We are on our way, Rex from the Reptile Center, the owner of the Reptile Center, came back and told us that there's actually a place that we could probably find these thorny devils in the wild and have a high chance to find them in the wild. So we're on our way there right now. If we don't see them there for whatever reason, I will show you the nice detailed footage that just got of them here at the Reptile Center, but or back there at the Reptile Center we're driving now. But, but I'm hoping against hope. No, don't say that anymore, Cusco. We might see some in the wild, so stay tuned. Here we go. Oh, I think we just passed the thorn dev. Ah, he said, he said thorn dev. Don't be lying to me now. Don't be telling me stories. Are you kidding? No, you're not. You did. Hold on a second. Hold on, wait a minute. What's going on over here? Oh my God! He walks right past the Davis right here. You crazy? I'm a dummy. Come on. We we have just driven. Oh yeah. Wait, to dance harder. Oh, dance harder. I'm dancing. Stop judging me. <laughs> <laughs> we have just driven what, like 400 kilometers, which is about 24,000 miles, to get to this place right here. Place. 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 You're starting to. In, you're becoming Aboriginal. I have no idea what's happening. I am extremely sleep deprived. But we have arrived at this spot to find this. Dude, I'm freaking stoked, man. You kidding me? Just don't let me get run over, whatever you do. Well, they're coming from that way, aren't they? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a thorny devil right there, friends. Right here in the wild, on the road, about to try and kill himself. What are you thinking, little guy? Um, he hasn't moved yet, so <laughs> That's is he... True. He's alive. His eyes are open. Look at that. His eyes are wide open, right here on the road. Oh, that is just fantastic. So... So, Re right. so Rex, <laughs> shut, shut up. up! I'm filming! God! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you go. You go. So Rex go. just so told you're such me. a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so Rex just told us that if we came to this part of the road that we would most likely find thorny devils, like almost guaranteed us. And I, Rex, you didn't let us down. Not at all. So Rex gave us the <laughs> <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> The star of the show, the horny devil, also known as Molochoridis, which means horrible devil. 
I want to tell you guys a little bit about thorny devils. They do eat mostly ants, or maybe only ants, but definitely ants. They're pretty slow. They don't run very fast. They're maybe about the speed of a, uh, I don't know, Jackson's chameleon here. Look. I just wanted to hold the little homie in my hands real quick. You guys get to see my hands and face all the time so you can kind of get an idea of, of how big these guys actually are because I, I thought they were bigger than this. In my mind, in my imagination, they were bigger. And uh, they're not. They're smaller than I thought. And I just wanted you guys to get good perspective and see exactly, compared to my mouth, how big this little dude is. And why is my shot so dark? Dang it, Jim. There we go. Open it up a little bit. Super cool, man. Super stoked. This is the, this is the animal I was really hoping to find them coming here so we found them it's gonna be downhill from here I'm just gonna go cry not because I'm emotional because there's a fly in my <laughs> eye <laughs> thanks for hanging out little dude I'm gonna let you go cruise and do your thing now all right you go out there and eat all the ants you want maybe you think about switching to flies be a thing yeah good So this is the thorny devil. This guy, not Brian over there. Brian's gone. All right, so I'm gonna continue this by myself then we'll let Brian in. I'm back. Oh, you're back. <laughs> so this is a thorny devil. This again is the quintessential Australian lizard and one of the most amazing things about these guys is the flies that bite you under your beard. <laughs> this is just <laughs> whack. <laughs> Actually, why don't I do my little thing with him, and then I'll, well, I don't know, hey. This is harder than it needs to be. So this is the... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's gonna be better if I disappear for a second and then come back. I promise. All right, then here, you, you film me. <laughs> Will you hold me and then I'll just do my little spiel? No, me. <laughs> Come on, we don't want to be your own. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Ow! I, I need the footage. Ow! Mother <laughs> I just got stung by a big ass ant. Ouch. Look at that. Damn sucker. Massive, dude. They're good too, them <gasps> Those guys, Look at that. That thing's massive. That's a bigger ant than I've ever been bit by. Oh my god. I need just, this. I need to stop this, this because this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. People are trying to film this thing, get nailed by a ant. <laughs> just <f> stupid. <laughs> and now it's pointing towards the sky, and I'm a f silhouette. <laughs> so, I do feel pretty bad for Dave, but I can't help but laugh at him, man. I can't help, like, but feel that he brought that up on himself with the universe. <laughs> oh, he was trying to film and he was getting really frustrated and really pissed off at the universe, and the bullet ant came and bit him in the foot. I've never been bit by a bullet ant, from what I understand, it hurts pretty bad. And he's still over there trying to film his segment. With all the flies and the bullet ants. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> <sighs> now that the high of seeing those thorny devils is starting to wear off, I'm starting to realize that what's really happening here is that I'm just spending lots of hours, days, rolling in a van hundreds of miles cross country 
that stinks of four-day-old ball funk with a bunch of degenerate males who have nothing in mind but other than finding that next show and that the next spot to get them off and, and that reptile high that we're all looking for here and uh, kind of makes me yearn for the days of touring in a band when I was rolling in a van hundreds of miles across country with a bunch of degenerate men in a van that smells of 40 old ball funk just searching for the next high from the next show Hi guys, I can honestly go home happy now though and uh, pfft, what a great trip. It's not over yet. See you guys in the next video. My first animal just walking along looking for something. I was like, you know what? I need to find a snake. I need to find a snake and sure I've been saying that most of the time, but I actually found one.